The problem with the Seiko Monster, today I'm going to give you a little ramble here, a little rant from Bruce Williams. Uh, before I get into it, I'm showing you the SBDC067. This is the Gen 3 Seiko Monster, blue coral colorway, Japanese domestic market released last month in November. And it's just such a cool watch, such a gorgeous watch. And it's the fitting backdrop for a little ramble about the, about the Seiko Monster. Now, the Seiko Monster is probably, I mean, it's one of the quintessential modern Seiko releases. It's got a cult following, but there's problems with the Seiko Monster. Let me get into that. The big one, um, and, and I'll back up a little bit. The first time I saw the Seiko Monster years ago, I thought that is the danged ugliest watch I've ever seen. I don't know why people think this is so cool. And I wrote it off. And then, you know, a month later I came back I looked at it, I came back again, I kept coming back, and the more I looked at it, the more I just fell in love with it. And I thought it was the most beautiful, cool, unique release from Seiko. And then you notice all the bang for buck, the metallic uh, bezel and how it ties in with the case, those, these big deep notches, the applied markers, the awesome loom, the nice bracelet, the 4R36 movement, that was back when I was getting into the Monster. It was the Gen 2 era that carried the 4R36. And I looked at the retail price. It was about, oh, sorry, not the retail price, but the going rate was about $200. I think I paid like $215 or $220 for my Gen 2 Orange Monster several years ago. And that, that just could not be beat. The amount of watch, the originality, the cool factor. I mean, that was the ultimate value prop from Seiko, I think from any time in their history. Now, here's where things started to go wrong with the Seiko Monster. They updated it to the Gen 3. They put a 6R15 movement in, they put a Cyclops on the crystal, and they visually changed the dial a little bit. They got rid of the shark tooth indices and went back to the more rectangular form that you saw on the Gen 1 Monster, the original Monster. And I think visually was just a beautiful watch. I mean, I loved I, lo I love the Gen 3 Monster. And take a look at this. Look how gorgeous this blue coral monster is, no doubt. But here's the problem. The going rate went to about $500. It more than doubled what you could get a Gen 2 Monster for. And really, the only thing that you're getting is a 6R15 movement. So it's, it is technically a nicer movement, longer power reserve, higher quality components. But the performance, is, is the difference is fairly negligible. Uh, certainly not justifying a double the cost, right? And then visually, of course, the dial looks slightly different. So you're getting the same case, same bracelet, same quality crystal, basically same performance, but you're paying a whole lot more. And uh, I, I don't think it's sold super well for them. Now, they've occasionally released different colorways, the jade colorway, this blue coral colorway. I mean, they've come out with some really beautiful ones, but this is the second problem with the Monster they discontinued the best color, the orange. And that, the Gen 3, it's the hardest to come by. The Gen 3 orange is the hardest to come by. So, I mean, there, there's some pretty big problems there with this. And I heard a rumor that Seiko is gonna be doing a Gen 4 monster coming out next year in 2019. It's gonna go back to the 4R36 for the movement. And there's gonna be some visual changes, design changes to the watch. now. I think they have the opportunity to really do a great thing here. If they brought the retail price back down a little bit, maybe closer to sum, uh, st sorry to turtle or samurai levels, that would sell like hotcakes. Now, here's the thing. Seiko, if you're listening to this, this is what you need to do to be successful. Orange monster. We need the orange color in the Gen 4. That's the best color. That's the color. I mean, I know it's out there. I know it's crazy. I mean, it's bright and vivid, but that's what we want as Seiko fans. So if we have a Gen 4 Monster, we need an orange color. We need the price to come down a little bit. And I'm telling you, this will sell like hotcakes. This would be a great move and would rectify a lot of the problems that we have with the Monster as crazy Seiko fans. So anyways, guys, just a little rant ramble today. A beautiful blue coral monster in front of you today. Big shout out to Robert of the Random Rob channel for lending this blue coral monster in. Uh, he really is the monster king, guys. So check out his channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.